tea continues to grow steadily in Nigeria, despite the fact that the country is generally quite hot and so cold drinks are preferred. Tea has traditionally been popular in the northern part of the country, which gets cold at night especially during the harsh hammertime dry season. But it is consumed less in other parts of the country. However, an increase in the formal working culture and in westernization has been driving a steady increase in the consumption, with tea being served in many offices, at conferences and other formal business meetings. Since most public offices are usually air-conditioned, Nigerians do not mind drinking tea in the office. The growing love for the consumption of tea can lead to an increase in cultivation and propagation of tea in large quantity, so it can be properly packaged and forwarded as an export consumable to other countries of the world. Just like the Palm Oil Green Development Campaign, which is elevating poverty through wealth creation, tea production and propagation can be given an enabling environment to thrive in Nigeria. The Kenyan tea subsector has contributed significantly to the redistribution of incomes through creation of new production capacity in many parts of that country. Tea production is a function of a contribution of several inputs which include land, plug-in cycle, proximity to collection or buying centers, rainfall and soil condition. The federal government can step in especially with a tea farm in Mambila Plateau doing so well by providing jobs for 800 Nigerians. It is hoped that the Ministry of Agriculture and all the relevant authorities can work towards generating more money for the nation's economy. Sophia Rogesi, ITV News, Abuja.